today I'm making a sheep in a sweater. Some assembly required. Hello! I'm felting again today. I am really excited to just try something new. So today I'm going to be working on clothes and I'm gonna be using a new kind of eye that I made from polymer clay rather than making it with wool. I just wanna see how that looks. So let's see how it goes. I started out with some sketching. I knew kind of what I wanted to make, but not exactly. So I like the little guy on the right. Let's see if I can actually make him. First, I'll make his skeleton. I'm using pipe cleaners, doubled up and twisted together for strength. I'm trying to give him nice big feet for balance. There we go, that should work as an armature. So I bent the top part back to support the head. I sort of chose to do it that way so I can make the head and stick it on, rather than building it right in place. I feel like it's going to give me a little bit more freedom, but we'll see. I'll start by wrapping pretty thin layers of core wool around his skeleton to bulk him up a little bit. Hey, he's a little fluffier, but ultra hairy. I'm going to cover this, but let me poke a little bit more just to try to get it under control. Better! Now I can start the head. I'll make a ball of core wool for the center and then keep adding more layers until it's a little bigger. Now I'll add a few more layers of this cream color, partly to increase the size and partly to cover up that dark core wool because he's going to end up a lighter color. Now I will just add an extra bump to build out his face. I'll use this fluffy cream to smooth out his head. I need to replenish my natural colors, so I'm using a lot of different layers of different fibers on this poor little guy. He's got a lot going on. Okay, that seems like a decent head. Now I'll attach it to his um, neck circle <laughs> with yet another cream wool. First, I'll focus on attaching, nice and strong, and then I'll go ahead and cover the rest with this cream. Now it's time to cover his arms and legs. I'm building up some layers of the cream on his neck, arms, and legs. And then I'm adding a darker tan for his, I don't know, wrists and ankles. <laughs> this will match with his face color and hopefully give him a little extra dimension. Here he is, looking fuzzy. So I'll go over that all again to smooth him out. Mm, so far, so good. Next, we'll do some ears. I'm making his ears a light cream with tan on the insides, and I'll use my awesome cardboard squishers to hold them while I felt the edges and fix the shape. Then I'll attach the ears to his head, folding them over a little bit at the top, and smooth the joint with a little more fiber. Alright, great! How about some feet next? I'm going to make his feet pretty big for a few reasons. One, because it's cute. Two, for good balance. And three, to fit into some cute sneakers I ordered. They're supposed to fit like an 18 inch doll, so that'll be pretty oversized for him. I'm adding the bulk of the feet to the top of the pipe cleaner shape. I'm trying to use the pipe cleaners to help keep the bottom of his feet as flat as possible. I think, hope, that that will help with his balance. Now I'll go over all the core wool with a nicer fiber to blend in with the rest of him. Not that you'll see most of his feet, but I'll know. Yay! He looks great! While I have this dark color out, I will make him some hands. I mean, they'll really be more like hooves because he's a sheep. So 
I'm making two little cone shapes for each hoof, attaching them together, and then felting them securely to the ends of his arms, poking carefully to avoid hitting the pipe cleaners. Hi there, little sheepy guy. Ooh, now it's sweater time. I made this sweater on a knitting loom in my last video, so it's still in two pieces. I will just use a yarn needle and some matching yarn to sew it on. It might be a little tight, but he's just gonna have to cram into it because it's gonna be cute. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. I can't even stand it. Now I'll use some skinny pencil roving to make his nose and mouth. And maybe I'll eventually pick an expression. Oh, yay, his shoes just came in the mail. Uh, it's hard to pick the color because they're all great, but I think I'll go with blue. Uh, now I have two more pairs for future critters. I can't wait. On they go. Whoops, wrong foot. It's hard to tell. They are awesome. Ha ha ha, amazing. Well, he still needs eyes. I made a few different sets of eyes out of polymer clay. I made a short video of how to do it. Look for that in a few days. And I think I'll pick these. The eyes have wire in the back, so I will poke a hole with my awl and check how it looks. Not bad. Let's glue it in. I will just dip the wire into some glue and stick it right into the hole that I made. Shouldn't need too much glue, but I'm trying to be generous. I'll just use an elastic to keep them in place while they dry. While I wait, I'll get started on his eyelids. I'm gonna keep them pretty simple and just make half circles. I'm leaving the round part fluffy because I think they'll be too big and I'll probably have to tear some off. But I'll felt them nice and tight on the flat edge. Woo, I think he's dry. I'll free him from his elastic, and now I can add his eyelids. I'm using the darker wool under his eyes and lighter for above. I just have to adjust the angles a little bit to get the right expression. Don't want him to look angry. I think he needs a dark lash line and some pink cheeks. So I'll just use some skinny pencil roving for this black. I think it'll help define his eyes a little bit more. And I'm going to fluff out this pink so it will blend into his cheeks. Ooh, I'm all finished! Hi! <laughs> I like the way his ears can wiggle. He's so cute! Oh my goodness, he is adorable. I love him so much. Uh, I think that that's really cute. I definitely like putting them in clothes. I think that that worked out really well. Probably wouldn't work for everyone, but I'm gonna be doing that again. Let's see what other outfits I can find for different creatures. Awesome. I think this is super cool. This was so fun. I hope that you enjoyed watching as much as I enjoyed making. If you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. I would give him like a million thumbs up. If you like this kind of video and you are not subscribed yet, you can do that right underneath the video and click that all notification button so you don't miss anything. New videos come out on Tuesdays and Saturdays, so stay tuned for whatever comes next. In fact, the next video is going to be a short video about how I made different eyes out of polymer clay. They are super simple and I'm gonna use them all over the place. Yay! Until the next video, be awesome, and I'll see you then. Bye!